Hello, happy, it's Monday. We actually got this out on Monday today. Uh, yeah, how do you unless like you're, that? Unless you're listening tomorrow or the next day, then in case it's Tuesday or Wednesday. But as far as like the here and now, uh-huh. it's Monday. Present day, yeah. Happy uh, happy Monday to you. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, the Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 7 has come and gone, and uh, it's time to talk about it. What, uh, that what, what we're talking uh, about That's morning? what we're talking oh, okay. about. That's what we're talking about. Well, great. About. I tell you what, that first scene, man, <laughs> is why I'm loving this season, you know. Yeah. Seasons past, you know, last episode, you know, uh, Eugene and Rosita hiding in the mud from the, the Whisperer Horde. And, you know, in seasons past, this episode would have picked up, like, at a totally different setting. You right. Know, we wouldn't have even got clued in as to what happened to him, but it picks up right where it left off. Beautiful. This one takes you right back. And before we get started, please, for more Walking Dead content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also press the little bell beside it. You'll get notifications when we post videos. We've also started doing some gaming videos. It's almost time for some more Walking Dead what-ifs between this and the the second half of the season and uh yeah just and also too something we don't really push but we are going to start trying to promote a little bit more go to facebook and uh, give our page a like oh we do have a facebook don't yeah we? we just use it so rarely i'm, I'm start we're gonna start trying to use it more All just right. uh good idea facebook.com backslash the walking dead uh, <laughs> not the walking dead that would take you to a totally different page sorry it's monday facebook.com slash the podcasting dead and it should take you right to us. Mm. But odds are you can find the link below in the description if you're having trouble with that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I love this episode. I, I've loved this whole season. I know it sounds like a broken record. It's just like, so, you know, like we're just promoting, you know, and well, it, just the show can do no wrong. But it's been a great season. And like it's you structured know. so much better. You Absolutely. Know? It's, 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 it's a nice balance between the storylines. Yeah, you know. it's, it, the pacing is is much, much better. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there's always something happening. It's it's not staying on one storyline too long. And a lot happens. So we know that apparently Michonne and Maggie have not been on the best of terms. We don't yeah. quite know know why because, you know, Maggie had her whole Negan moment and, and you know, they kind of had a little beef there. But I think that they were cool when Maggie came out and she hadn't killed Negan. I don't see any reason for her and Michonne to have bad, bad blood over that. Yeah, I mean, she just handed her the keys. Yeah, I mean, Michonne understood, you know, when Maggie's like, I don't act like this is something I can just turn off or, or you know, like, how would you feel if he had done this to Rick? Instead yeah. of, you know. And I think Michonne knew deep down that Maggie couldn't just kill him right there in cold blood, you know. Michonne also knew deep down that there was no way she wouldn't kill him. Right. I mean, she went back and was going <laughs> to kill the governor. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, which, you know, I know she was more or less investigating, but still, she was damn sure okay with killing him. So she knows if it had been her and Maggie's situation, I believe Michonne knows she probably would do the same thing. So, um, but I don't know. We don't know why they exactly. Lots of questions from this episode, and sorry for bouncing around. I, we, we, it's it's hard to go in exact order of the episode because, like I said, we don't. If I take notes, I'm not really watching it as good as I should be, and then it's. But so another question I have: Do you notice Daryl had the same X as Michonne? I did, yeah, and some other gnarly scars. Yeah, he's got some we know from his dad. We know that he had an abusive father, and that's kind of why Merle left when he and was younger. Like and a, a freaking like Freddy Krueger got a hold like Wolverine got like into it with yeah. him. But uh, so we saw that same X, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to have flashbacks or, or what's going on with those X's. I don't. Um, a lot of people thinking it was like kidney theft when it was Michonne or. She had a kidney removed or, you know, something like that. But Daryl's got one. So now is the, you know, begging the question, what is up with the exes? I don't know. What's up with them, JP? Come on. (laughs) That's why I have you here. Uh, I need you to give me these answers. May X marks the spot. Maybe there's some like a hidden treasure. You think there's buried treasure? Possibly. There's buried treasure within their lower torsos. It could be like a little pot of gold in there or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, and how are you liking the new character so far? I'm liking them. I'm not uh, remembering everyone's name just yet. I think we can all agree our favorite new addition to this show is Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you not like Dog? Um, I love I really truly was going to name my dog one of two things. When I got him like three years ago, I was either going to name him Dog or I was going to name him D.O.G. After the bounty hunter, right? No, just Dog no, because oh. he's a dog. Oh, right. Um, works too with- <laughs> or like I said, D.O.G., which D.O.G., Dog. Oh. Either way, my dog's name was going to be Dog. And then I decided to go with Charlie because all dogs go to heaven was my shiznit when I was a kid. That and was I a loved good Charlie, name. I so yeah. I named him Charlie. 
But um, so I, what, what stands out to you in this episode? Tell me what you just got done watching it. I, I watched it last night. Yeah. So you tell me what what about this episode? You know, did you like? What did you not like? What really just captivated you? Ooh, I, I was captivated start to finish, brother. Let me tell you something. The the hilltop man, it's uh, Jesus kind of looking like a skinny. Kyle Drago over there, you know, definitely, definitely a reluctant <laughs> yeah, leader. You a know, skinny Kyle Drago, yeah, yeah. man, that that pointy beard of his, he's, you know, it's a look, and he's pulling it off. Yeah, I mean, Jesus is. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad too. I hope this means that we will see more Jesus. I mean, uh, we had a little, uh, a little Jesus and Aaron. Uh, you know what that reminded me of? Have you seen the, the James Franco movie? What is it? Why him with Brian Cranston? And uh, no, I haven't seen. The, well, there in that in that movie, he has a. Um, he has this really cool. It's it's um, the guy from Key and Peele. Uh, it's not Jordan Peele. It's Keegan. I can't remember his last yeah, name, but um, you know he's he's in it and he plays like his German butler. And they do that like he's teaching him. Not he's not his butler. I'm sorry, that's a bad way. He's like he's he's like James Franco's assistant. He's oh. basically James Franco couldn't survive in this movie without him. You know he's he's awesome. And in the movie, he's teaching James Franco like martial arts, and he'll surprise attack him at random parts. You know, James Franco in this movie is like a billionaire tech guy, and he hires this dude as his like assistant. He kind of runs James Franco's estate, and he's like, mm-hmm. you know, James Franco's dude, but he's also teaching him martial arts. So he surprise attacks him throughout the movie randomly. That's what that reminded me of. Because as soon as Jesus was on the horse and he got tackled, I was like, oh, hell, we're jumping right into it. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's just Aaron. Jesus is going to kick his ass. Yeah, at first I didn't know what to think, you know, some whisper scouts or whatever. But no, it was just a nice little, you know, affectionate uh, uh, sparring. I thought it was funny when he accidentally punches him. He's like, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I think we've all been there, you know, roughhousing his kids. And Jesus starts kicking him. Don't tell mom. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Please don't go tell Tara. Yeah. I thought at first, and don't get me wrong, I don't have a. I, I, Tara's one of those characters I don't hate by any means. I just don't really care for. Her. I've never, you know, it's it's been a while since I've thought, oh man, Tara's awesome. She's just kind of there, and she's so back and forth. Like I did not like her during the "I'm gonna kill Dwight." You know, I don't know why I just made her talk like Daryl, but well, even still, she was so like you know. So I wasn't fond of her then, but um, you know, she's had her moments where I like Tara, mm-hmm. but. Just never been one of my favorite characters. And at first I was like, oh, man, is Tara running the hilltop? Come on now. like. Well, I mean, she kind of is. She's definitely sort of the she's power She's like Jesus' is assistant. Yeah, yeah, she's delegating. I'm sure a lot of the stuff that he's just shrugging off, she's having to deal with, you know, like the uh, the complaints in trailer four or whatever it was, you know. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Give a kid a kazoo? I mean, coming from Maggie, it's just Maggie to Tara's just, you know, I, I just, I, I mean, and don't get me wrong, Tara probably by all accounts is fully able to run the hilltop i mean she's a strong fighter she's smart she's you know it's just i don't know she's just i don't know she comes and goes as far as my fandom sometimes i like her sometimes i don't really care for her yeah one thing i found too man let me know how you feel about this i found a lot of fans like not digging maggie at all like in the last season or two i which people that i've talked to personally i'm like what? Like, I yeah, I didn't that. like her going against Rick, but at the same time, I mean, put yourself in her position. She watched a guy beat her husband's brains inside out and laugh while doing it. I mean, like, it's so easy from the outside to be like, oh, she's, you know, she's stupid and Team Rick. And I do agree. I said, I don't like the way she's talking to Rick, but I'm not saying she's wrong for wanting to kill Negan. Now, if she would have killed Rick to get to Negan, that's where I would that's have had a problem. Story, yeah. But her wanting to sneak behind Rick's back to kill Negan, I mean, I understand it. You know what I mean? I think it's a justifiable uh, response to what she's been through. I'm not saying she's right, per se, but I understand why one would want to go that route. Yeah. How would you feel about her little exit, you know? Just uh, that, just, you know, it just, just it, A lot of our listeners, I saw this when I was uh, out of town the other weekend. I was reading some comments standing in a line. And a lot of our commenters are saying that, I've, I haven't seen where it's officially confirmed, but I'm not saying it's not out there. I just hadn't found it yet. Uh, but they're saying she's coming back in season 10. A lot of our listeners were commenting saying, it's okay, she'll be back next season or hmm. at the end of this season or whatnot. So, I mean, I think they will. All, all of her thing was a price negotiation. Well, that's all it was. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and she was going to do this other show, which mm-hmm. I don't think is going to do that well. So, I think she will be back. I think that she's just on a little, at six years though, and Jesus is like still just waiting for her. Yeah. You know, he thinks it's temporary. It's like it's she's been gone longer than you've been in the apocalypse when you met her. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. 
Yeah, I was gonna say. I wonder exactly if she left like right after you know the the bridge explodes. Like if she yeah, I'm, a little I, while, like, I'm thinking she stuck around for a little while, yeah. enough time for her and Michonne to have some. Which then again, I might be wrong there when I said she's been gone six years. It might be she's only been gone for a year. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did jump ahead six years. She okay. could have just left a few months ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, w- that I wonder is if one the thing. beef has to do with the with the exes. You know, on Daryl and man, I don't know. That's interesting. I, I've I've wondered. We haven't seen if there are any. Uh, on any of the hilltop people yeah. yet, and we know Herschel's okay, little baby Herschel, yeah. which it won't, and ain't no baby no more. Yeah, I still. take that back with the whole Jesus waiting on her because I didn't think about that last night watching that because I, I was thinking some along the same lines as Daryl. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Are you still looking for him? It's been six years, dude. What do you think, Rick? Just like survived the explosion and was like." All right, cool. I'm going to live in the woods. <laughs> yeah. And then you're going to find, like, I mean, six years. But yeah. so Jesus. I think Daryl probably hates the idea of a walker Rick just wandering Want to put it, know, wants, to put wants to down. put him down. Yeah. Kind of like with the, what was the original leader of the uh, of Alexandria? Captain Jane Way. What was her name on the show? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Deanna? Yeah, yeah. Remember how her they had to track oh, her yeah. down and put yeah, her down? Great so, insight, yeah. man. I, I didn't think of that. You're probably right. He just wants to. It's not so much looking for him alive as it is looking for like Walker Rick, mm-hmm. just, yeah. to, just to just to finally put him to rest, him, yeah. bury him. And that might be right. You might be exactly right. Again, it's early. You just got done watching it. My juices. I watched it. They were firing, and then I fell asleep. Now I'm. Just, but that is. I didn't think about that. It might not be. He's looking for like an alive and well Rick. He's probably just looking for Rick. Period. A body, a walker, mm-hmm. just something to lay him to rest. You know what I mean? I mean? I'm sure deep down he's hoping he survived. But like you said, I mean, what, are you just going to be living like in a little teepee? He's got a little tent. Daryl knocks on the door. He's like, go away, Daryl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put me in a pit and I almost died. <laughs> yeah. I hate you. <laughs> Friendship over. Stay away from Michonne. But I don't know, man. Daryl finally getting a haircut. Yeah, that was nice. Not much of a haircut, no, not a really little. Didn't take much off. I was really hoping it was going to go back to like season two Daryl with the yeah. short hair, maybe even like season three, like prison Daryl with like you know kind of scruffy hair. But I'm thinking maybe <laughs> she just, just kind of took it out of his face. Yeah, maybe he just had like some tree sap, tree sap like stuck in his hair, and she just had to like cut it out. You know, I thought they might be getting freaky there for a second when Ooh. she's like, "Dinner will be ready in thirty minutes," and yeah. she's like, "That's just enough time," and he's like. Just enough time for what? It's like boom, 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 like yeah, the '70s porn music starts, and it's like, oh my god! But uh, alas, haircut. But no. So going back to original, Jesus might actually. We don't know how long Maggie's been gone, so that is a good point. Michonne didn't know she was gone, and I know surely they probably didn't keep that from her for six years. Yeah. So it could have very well just been a you know, and if you know in the comments, because sometimes we miss stuff. Let us know if they if there was something they said that might have alluded to how long she was gone. I just didn't catch that. Did you? Uh, no. I didn't, so, I yeah, she could have been gone a month. She could be gone for like a year because Jesus is acting like it's temporary. But I think Jesus will be a good leader of the hilltop. He's badass enough to understand what needs to be done when it needs to be done. But he's also compassionate enough to be, you know, like a fair yet strong leader. Yeah, it's always weird going from number two to number one. You know, you right. really realize how heavy the crown uh, lies. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And let's talk about Luke. Man, I thought we lost him there for a second cool when, Luke. when she popped around the corner with the sword. And he's like, no! And then she sliced. I was like, oh, yeah. I told my girlfriend, I was like, of course. Of course the character that I like the most out of this new group is going to be the one to get like sliced up by Michonne. But luckily it was just that beautiful violin. Yeah, and I mean, the most harmless out of that whole you know new group of characters. I mean, she's, yeah. uh, you know, he's... He's definitely the one that seems to, to to be the most friendly, the one that's trying to connect and trying to, you know, trying to establish like, hey, we're not, we don't want to hurt you, we just need help. And um, I don't know, but how about the tell me, how about those, uh, how about those slingshots? Man, she was killing it with the slingshot. Yeah, right? I thought that was awesome, Probably man. Some, like really, like ball bearings or something, just you know. Oh yeah, definitely bearings. something something very very heavy, but uh, yeah, I thought it was awesome, man. I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm liking the creativity with the weapons, and I like this. I like when he turns around and he's like, and "My girlfriend mm-hmm. thought he was doing the f you like to the zombies." I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was thank you, right? Because one of our engineers here at the station knows some sign language because he works with uh, also works with um, people with you know disabilities and disorders, and uh, he works with one guy that is deaf, so he you know he knows a lot of sign language. So he's kind of been showing me a little bit, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that was thank you. Mm-hmm. And he's like telling you know telling Nora thank you, but. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm interested to see how they're going to play in it. What do you think? Do you think Nora saw a whisperer? And if she did, who do you think it was? Yeah, she saw something, that's for sure. 
I think I think that she saw Lydia. Okay. The well, daughter of Alpha. Yeah. Yeah. A little slight spoiler alert, but I'm sure you've probably read a million things about it now. But uh, I think it was probably Lydia because I think that's how it'll be. Like she's just kind of curious about them. You know, she's living with the whispers, but she's kind of like, you know, not. Mm-hmm. Not content on staying there. I'm telling you, man, speaking of kids, Henry already getting on my nerves, man. I'm not a fan of the, uh, I, I don't know if it's his character, I don't know if it's the the actor playing him, but uh, just Henry, I don't know, just every time he opened his mouth, I was like, dude, just please shut up, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't not know. digging him, huh? Yeah, kind of getting that feeling I used to get from Carl, you know, like in, in early seasons. God, Carl. Well, maybe that's just me. No, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just child actor sometimes. It's It's... Like I said with Judith, man, I like Judith, and I'm, I'm interested to see where she goes. But there were some lines last week where it was almost Disney Channel. It's like, okay, right, you know, right. or, I, you know, whatever. I can't remember what it was. But um, how about Sadiq talking to Michonne's like, what would Carl want? I'm yeah, like, man, ooh, I don't know, man. I mean, it's Michonne, and she's got a sword on her back. I, I would be careful with how yeah, I. Yeah, when you bring up somebody's dead kids. I, he's got I, a I great know. point, though. Don't get me wrong. I like. Do you like Sadiq? What do you think of him? I mean, yeah. we hadn't gotten much I mean, of him. This yeah, was, I'm gonna say he hadn't really had a big part to play this season, but but it's definitely been one of those uh, episodes where we got a little bit more of him, I think, than we mm-hmm. normally do. Yeah, I like him. I like the little story he told about his aunt giving him the flute, and then his you know mom just was like, nah, <laughs> no. Um, I think, I think I might have saw beta in the previews for next week's episode. Yeah, I haven't watched it. It might have been alpha. I don't know. For some reason, it, it seemed like it was beta to me, but it just was like this because everything I've read says that the next episode is going to be like horror themed, which mm-hmm. you remember they did kind of an episode similar to that back in season eight where everyone had been hit by those zombie gut weapons and oh, yeah. just were turning around. You know, it was a very kind of old school feel to that episode. I think that's what we're going to get this episode, but there was like a flash of lightning and a gate and behind the gate was like one zombie just kind of mm-hmm. standing there. And it could be alpha, but I was thinking it could be beta. It looked like a big old boy. Nah, I mean, yeah, yeah, kind of. It was wearing thick clothes. So, I mean, but it, it, from from the quick glance I got of it, I definitely thought it was, you know, a more a masculine figure. But I mean, you know, um, but I, I, I man, I, I just my only complaint is I hate that we're gonna be revealed to the whispers this episode and this next episode, and then we got to wait a little while. But I, oh, but man, it's we're coming up on the mid season finale. But I applaud yeah. them because they have done a great job. Like like past seasons, if basically nothing happens into the mid season finale, and then you have to wait six, you know, well two or three months, not as long, but and then only thing, you know, bigger things happen. So I like that on on this season. They've really, I mean, it's been a couple episodes that felt like they could be like mid season finales. Yeah, man, it's good. I know a lot of times we, we get like two good episodes starting out, then, you know, like three or four filler episodes, right. and, you know, the mid-season finale. And I feel like even the last two episodes being a tad bit slower in comparison to the pacing of, you know, some of the the first few have still been great. They're building up to something yeah, and they absolutely. feel necessary. They don't feel forced or just yeah. like here to fill in yeah. time. Like Honestly, they are building just something. Just the, the structure of the show is so much better, you know? Absolutely. And I mean, the, the storylines, I'm I'm equally invested in almost all of them, you know? There's not just like, right. oh boy, we got to go back to freaking Father Gabriel. Yeah. You know, like it's 10 minutes. Oh, great. Yeah. I, man, I, speaking of Father Gabriel, how is he going to be feeling when he finds out his baby boo is, you know, wounded up at Hilltop? Is that what you actually, is that what you call your girlfriends, your baby boo? I, you, know, you know. Please bring them to my Thanksgiving party. I mean, my, my Thanksgiving party. Sorry, my New Year's party. I want to hear you be like, baby boo, can I go get you a beer? Please. Please you know, do that. We, you know, we, we lock our pinkies when we walk around. It's oh, a, it's, so it's sweet. Right, yeah. So sweet. Um, <laughs> but uh, I would love to hear you call your lady friend Baby Boo. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I do call mine Boo, but, you know, it's kind of more sarcastic. It, it started off sarcastically, and then it just kind of became kind of normal. Stuck. Yeah, you just get used to saying it. <laughs> and you're like, damn it. I was trying to be I was trying to be sarcastic, and now I just sound douchey. But, um, and also, uh, let's not forget, this was Michael Cutlitz's directing debut. I remember you mentioning that. Yeah, uh, uh, Abraham. Abraham actor Michael Cutlins, who played Abraham, directed this episode. Um, it's really cool. It's really cool to see. You know, I, I bet it felt good. I wonder how that feels. I feel like that would be like a coworker coming back and being your boss. 
Yeah. You know yeah, what I or mean? Like, like graduating college and going right back to the high school you graduated from to be a teacher, you know? Right. And then you're it's people like, that wasn't would. Wasn't I just here? Wasn't I just drinking with you? Yeah. <laughs> and, but I mean, you know, it's. And also on the uh, Talking Dead last night, it was pretty cool because they brought back uh, Sophia. Because, you know, Sophia and the guy that play Henry are brother and sister. I didn't know. And that. they are also older brother and sister to the guy to the kid that played younger Henry Is so right? younger Henry older Henry and Sophia are, are brothers and sister that's cool I know uh, the uh, the Henry actors definitely there's definitely a resemblance yeah they, they brought her onto the talking dead last night and it's so crazy how how long this show has been going how much she's grown up I mean she was just a little so girl you know now? honestly don't know her age but um you know she looks like she's probably in her late teens mm-hmm. maybe getting into her early I don't know. I mean, probably not. She's probably like in her late teens, That's probably cool. like 17, 18, maybe. I'd have to Google it. But um, she just looks all grown up, though. And she was little Sophia. And I mean, it just is. Yeah. You go back and you watch season two, which does not. It feels like a lifetime ago, but then it, it doesn't feel that long ago. And she's all grown up. And um, they asked her some cool questions. They were asking her, like, do they think that Carol would be as badass as she is? If Sophia would have survived, and she said at first, you know, you're like, yeah, I would. I think that I would love. I think I would like to think that Sophia and Carol would be badass together. But then she said, no, I think Sophia dying had a big part to play in Carol's yeah. evolution, you know. And um, but yeah, so I, uh, it was really cool, really, really cool to see her. Um, so, but we're seeing some trust growing between Michonne, I think, in this new group. Especially after she almost cuts Luke down. Yeah, I mean, she gave them their weapons back, and nobody shot her with an arrow or a slingshot. So, so it's a good start. All, I, all I'm, I just really want some filler here. I need to know, like, why are there not? Because obviously they're doing this fair. Which, if you're a comic reader, you know, this fair could signal some really bad stuff. It could, it um, could. but they're trying to bring the communities back together. Something obviously, while Rick was alive, he had. You know, they had their issues, but they still were close-knit allies. They still talked regularly. They visited each other. They traded. Whereas now it just seems like they've kind of boarded up and stuck to themselves. Yeah. And uh, like you said, we're seeing the Hilltops expanded their crops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking like they're doing pretty good. Yeah, Hilltop looks like they're probably doing better than anybody. I mean, they got the blacksmith uh, operation going. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. And they're about to. And now we see, obviously, Henry's going to be taking Carl's story from the comic where Carl goes to do some blacksmithing at the hilltop, which leads a lot into the Whisperer thing. We're going to see, I think we're going to see it split up between, and here's my thing, and then slight comic spoilers, but I mean, it's nothing huge. But of course, in the comics, you basically have Rick and Alpha, the leader of the Whisperers, the leader of, you know, our group going head to head over their children, basically, Carl and, and Lydia, you know. Um, I, whereas now, I think what's, you know, I think the way that I've seen in the comments and people are making predictions, I think the way it's going to go is, Henry and Lydia, Carol versus Alpha. Oh, geez. that'd be a badass showdown, yeah. man! Carol versus Alpha. Like Carol will kind of take Rick's spot from the comics as far as being the one that Alpha talks to, and you know gets. Oh man, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm so looking forward to this season. And one thing you don't think of if they do it right, I hate Andrew Lincoln not being there. I truly do. Nothing would make me happier, and I wouldn't be mad at all. After all the Rick's final episode promotion, they were like, you know what? Scratch that. He's coming back. I'd be like, okay, (laughs) cool. But it does open up the door to some badass storytelling and and ways that they could change things around that people that do read the comics can really sit back and be like, oh, that's awesome. You know what I mean? It's such a cool way to tell the story differently. Yeah, man. I I think there's going to be a scene where like Carol's like cutting all her long hair off, like kind of getting the war paint on, you know, like there'll be some badass music behind. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go back to, you know, the old the old Carol. The old old Carol's still there. I mean, she just incinerated a bunch of people, you know, right episode ago. Oh, we know she's still there. She just I kind of I like her long hair. It's 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 It's, it's it's a a good look look for her. With that bow and arrow in her. Look, Daryl's been in the woods for, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing he's been in the woods for six years. We saw him walk off after Rick died, which to me, between that episode and this episode, signified that that's kind of when he just went off on his own. Mm -hmm. But it's like, and he's still wearing, like, Carol's got all new clothes. You know, all these characters have all new clothes. And then there's Daryl, still wearing the exact same stuff that he walked away from Rick's, you know, death, air quotes, death with. But, um, like, Daryl, come on, man. Yeah, man, he's just kind of stuck in, you know. My girlfriend is is like, I'm done with the show if they kill the dog. And I'm like, hopefully oh, they dude. won't, or at least they'll make it very... Because, un- I mean, it's it's kind of the predictable thing. If there's an animal, it's probably going to get killed. 
So yeah, I'm hoping that, that was that was probably the most tense part. You know, just uh, his dog stuck in that trap. Yeah, man. I was like, good. My girlfriend was like, I already hate it. I already hate yeah. it. They just brought in this dog just to kill it. And I'm like, well, hold on. You know, maybe not. Definitely thought DJ, which is the guy that was with Michonne and them. You know, he was the one that had the bag of weapons mm. for Magna right. and Luke and all of them. I definitely thought he was going this episode when they, I was like, oh, he's dead. He's like this no name character we've only seen a few times. We don't really know much about him and su- they surprised me when he lived i definitely yeah. thought he was gonna gonna go but yeah, really cool that he like stayed a red shirt that's for sure that's a good way to put it yeah it definitely seemed like a red shirt but alas he's not around, the case yeah. he's still around um uh, but what are you thinking what are your thoughts just uh i've talked too much just because i've got a lot to say because it sucks that i see it last night then you see it this morning and then you know we don't have any time to talk about it between right. the episodes so this is all it yeah like i said brother i'm still a little uh, groggy from all the uh, nighttime cold medicine i took last night but man it was a, it was a good way to start the day watching some walking dead definitely good pacing a lot of you know i think it's a lot of good stuff on the uh, on the horizon yeah, we went to uh, we went to uh, Bush Gardens for Christmas Town in uh, oh, man, in Wilmington magical. and uh, wait not in Wilmington where is Bush Gardens Adam having a brain Williamsburg. fart Williamsburg yeah. excuse me I'm so sorry it's it's early um, so I feel you I'm, I don't know if I'm as groggy as you are but I'm definitely kind of I, I feel like I got hit with like a trank dart and I'm just now starting to uh, yeah I just feel like get I that could, gravy off the brain baby but, yeah I've been doing a lot of driving and stuff I feel like I, I thought I could, you were gonna yeah. say I've been doing a lot of drugs I was like <laughs> when I said yeah, cold medicine I meant like cold medicine not like <laughs> using Sudafed to make meth and if it which if that were the case I'd be much more you know alert you even drinking meth. no scissor ain't that what they call it I think so I think so lean you know uh, lean and cough syrup and whatever else the codeine man that's the good stuff I'm just not that drug savvy man I just I just know like well, Pepto Bismol helps you with an upset stomach that's true BC gets rid of a headache mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm not that savvy with pharmaceuticals or drugs at all I just uh, I don't know I'm really excited to see the whisperers I cannot express this like I think all I mean plenty of people that didn't read the comics are still very excited mm-hmm. but I'm real. I saw one fan theory, man, or comicbook.com. They put out some of the wildest stuff, like them, and the, it's. It, they, they, I don't know, but it was it was this theory that when we cut to the hilltop, because I thought it was weird when Maggie had said talking about taking Magna and Luke and them to the hilltop. She was like, "I'll talk to her," talking about the leader, and mm-hmm. I'm like, "Well, if, you know, Maggie's gone, and why did she say her with Jesus?" But then we find out, that, of course, Michonne never knew Maggie left. That's why she said her. And not him. Right. But one fan theory was that Alicia from Fear of the Walking Dead was going to be leading the hilltop. Oh, man. How crazy would that be? Great. Because you got to think, it's been six years. So yes. what has the fear crew been up to? Like, I've, I've wondered that when we go back to them. Is it going to be a six-year time jump for them? Or, or are we going to be going back in time and seeing what's happened between now and then? I would really love to see Morgan back on the Walking Dead, man. So you want him to ditch fear and, and come back home? I wouldn't mind it as long as he brings John Dory with him. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, would you be happy to just see fear just like end it and merge no, it into the walking no, dead? No, no. Because, I mean, you and I talked about it earlier this no. year watching fear. You know, I enjoyed it. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's not as good as the walking dead, but I enjoyed it. I mean, I thought that it kind of got a little, it kind of fell off there towards kind of the end of the season. But good stuff. I, I just would love to see the sh- shows merge, I think. Which then again, I don't know, because sometimes we're seeing they're doing good now, but we know in the past The Walking Dead sometimes not done good having a bunch of characters. You know what I mean? It's like it it has neglected children that it sometimes forgets mm-hmm. to, and then all of a sudden wants you to love them right before they die. And you're like, I don't care about this character. You've only shown them to me a handful of times this season. Now I'm supposed to be sad that they're dying. Yeah, man, I think season three of Fear was definitely like just <clears throat> way better Solid. than what The uh, the Walking Dead was doing it, Absolutely. Like, at, that, at that point. So. Season it, three it of weird. Fear it does was kind amazing. Of seesaw, you know. Yeah, no, and I like season four. I mean, we got some great characters. I like John Dory a lot. Um, Alicia's a badass. I like her now. I didn't like her the first half of the season where they were like viciously hunting. Yeah, I don't know. Alicia was, and I get why she was the way she was, but she just kind of was. She was kind of like the, I guess the reason why some people weren't too fond of Maggie. You know, she just was like I, almost like a bad guy, and you know, but. Um, Alicia, I would like to see all of them. Victor Strand. I mean, I really would. If if not a complete crossover, like permanently, I would just like some kind of crossovers every now and again. Yeah, it's bound to happen. Just it's maybe they have their own little community, and we just see them every now and again pop up. I just, I really, I think 
I want to see John Dory in The Walking Dead. Even more than, like, we know Morgan's awesome, and I, he's one of my favorite characters on the show ever, but I just want to see John Dory in The Walking Dead universe. Yeah. He's awesome. It'd be cool if one of Rick's movies kind of brings him down to Texas, you know? Yeah. I feel like Alicia and Rosita, they're not the same character, but I feel like that they, as far as the writing of this show, they kind of would play the same role. They're both the young And I know Alicia's never been in the military, but she's kind of got that military vibe about her now, like mercenary kind of thing Mm -hmm. going. I feel like they kind of, the writers would have trouble, either that or they would have to clash a lot. They're just a lot alike, you know what I mean? Alicia and Rosita remind me of each other as far as they're both young girls, they're both badasses, they're both like, they don't look threatening, but they could kick your ass. Yeah, you know what both, I mean? Both lost their man. You know, yeah, the guy right. who like got them through up until this point, both had to watch them get killed. Not right. An easy thing to do. So, so, I mean, I feel like that would be the only problem arcs, if yeah, you, if sure. you, if you brought them together it'd be like, it kind of similar. in as far as their, 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 their you know, their, their character arc. So, but it also yeah. could be a badass team up though. I mean, I no doubt that Rosita and Alicia together would not be awesome. What would be crazy, man? You know who we've been missing, and you know if when they reveal Beta, which I know he's been cast, but what if like Daniel was was Beta? You know, like he disappears <laughs> from down there and just however you know. I mean, as crazy as he can be, maybe I miss that character, man. Daniel's uh, is awesome. He was I miss him on Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, I hope Dead. they bring him back. They say he's like so he's he's a very talented musician. You know, he's just a talented guy, and I think he's been doing a lot of music stuff. But I really wish he would come back. But uh, I'll tell you, too, <clears throat> jumping back, I know we've been off, we've been kind of all over the place in the Walking Dead world, but I'll tell you one thing I realized. Okay, so I've I've watched Rick's final episode probably 10 times now. Is that I right? just It's on demand. Yeah. I just, I love it. I like it. I yeah, really it was, do. I'm not good. saying it couldn't have been done a little, I mean, I, I, when people have their complaints, they're valid complaints, but I still loved it. And um one thing I've realized, and, and, and yes, I did think Sasha's appearance was a little odd just in her relation to Rick, because right. it's like it really, you know, Shane had a lot to do with Rick unleashing the beast within, whereas Herschel kind of had a lot to do with Rick maintaining some of his humanity and being more the moral compass. And while Sasha and him, you know, I mean, they were they, they've been through a lot together. It, she just didn't kind of have that impact on him like Herschel or Shane. So when she yeah. popped up, it was however. All right. After Later rewatching on. it, I'm going to say that Sasha's appearance is probably... Shane was awesome, too, but I, if, you, if you really dig into the stuff Sasha's telling him, it's some... Excuse me for being sappy, but it's some beautiful shit. I, you know, I, I wouldn't pay attention. Go back to and it. listen to every... I mean, it's beautiful. And her delivery, Sonequa Martin-Green, her delivery of it is awesome. Like, she did a great job. Like, when I said it was, it surprised me to see her there, not that I won't happy to see her. I was, mm-hmm. it, was, it was Sasha. I was very happy to see her. But it just, for me, was odd that she'd be popping up for Rick instead of someone. And which, like I said, they probably would have gotten Glenn if Stephen if Yun would come it, back. Yeah. Or, But... She probably is one of my favorite parts. I mean, it was cool seeing Shane. I love the interaction there. But when you actually dig into like what she's telling him, that's such a real world application. Like you can apply what she said so much to more than The Walking Dead. You know, just her whole explanation of how like it's okay that people die. It's okay that you die. The things that you inspire and that you build and that you instill in others. You know, you live on through these other people. You've played your part. You know, it's okay. I just, I thought it was beautiful, man. I mean, it's now just, I'll you know. I'll have to go back and rewatch. Go, go, I go, go watch. And if you can look up the, the, the lines, I mean, it's beautiful. Like the things that, you know, Sasha says are beautiful. And like I said, just Sonequa Martin Green did it so good. I mean, it actually just, it's because I've watched it so many times. Originally the Shane thing and the Herschel thing were my favorites, especially when you see Herschel just as like, hey, Rick, you're yeah. like, I'm not crying. Right. I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, but yeah, just if you get a chance, if you hadn't really, I mean, let's go back and listen to what she says. It's freaking beautiful. But um, yeah, solid episode again as we build towards what I think is going to be the Whisperer War. I'm excited. I'm really sad that next week is the mid-season finale. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with some uh, filler content of our own. Oh, absolutely. Gap, yeah. We're gonna do still bringing back a lot of Walking Dead what if. So in our mail call videos or even in these videos, if you have a good what if question, throw it in the yeah, comments. Throw section. some scenarios. Yeah, like what if? Mm, I'm having trouble thinking of one <laughs> yeah. on the fly. But if you can think of one, please throw it down there. I mean, it could be anything. If 
what uh, would there would the community st- still be tight if Carl were alive? You know what I mean? Like if Carl, if Rick did go away, but Carl stayed, you know, alive and there, would the commu- Would he have been the missing link to keep the communities still tight? Or you know, uh, how would Carl have handled Rick's death? You know, just anything you can think of. Throw it in the comments section. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing whatever caused uh, Maggie and Michonne's beef is a big, you know, reason why. Yeah, seems to fall maybe apart. Carl could have been there to keep the peace on behalf of his father. Yeah, and probably the the fall of the sanctuary kind of plays into it. Something big I'm imagining. Happen, yeah, you know? I really I need I need I need some explanation. I need some answers here. Like how long has Maggie been gone? <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, all this and more will be answered next week. I'm hoping she comes week, back. Rather. Or no, it would be next week, next Sunday. Anyway. Next Sunday, yep. Yeah. And then we'll have a few Sundays off, but we'll still be podcasting multiple times a week with what ifs and video game play and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Is there anything else from this episode? I mean, there's a ton of things, but is there anything else big you can think of that we haven't really discussed? Uh, not to my, not to my knowledge, no. Mm-hmm. Daryl back on that uh, back on the motorcycle. Yeah, that was good to see. He takes off with the dog, and I'm like, the dog is not going to keep up with that dirt bike. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, they got horses, so I imagine he's just not going that fast. But you know, it's Daryl. He usually flies on that dirt bike. Yeah. So, it's, I, did you see? You didn't see any of the scenes from next week's episode, did no, you? No, I hadn't Man, any of them. I hate that about Amazon Prime that it does. You know, you don't you don't get to see that. I know you don't like to know stuff, but I mean, it's just a little tea. It's just, right. it, it gets me more excited. Next mm-hmm. week's episode looks like a horror movie. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm it's, stoked for that. Always like, you know, when, they, when it gives it that classic sort of feel. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's rate the episode, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that we didn't really cover as much as we can cover in like 30 minutes, yep. 40 minutes, however long we've been yapping. All right, but put your hand under the table, but keep it on your side this time. All right, all right. I've warned you, you about assist. that. All right, give it up. What's your rating? I mean, you did four. I did four and a half. There you go. Yeah, I think four like and a half is my was, consistent was rating. was irking me a little bit this episode, so I was like, uh. Yeah, I think four and a half's been pretty. I need to switch it up some, but I have, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I mean, really look, if it fits, it fits. I mean, the thing is, I will say, and I know some people aren't digging the show anymore, and that is fine. If it's not your, your jam anymore, it's not your thing, and... It's not something that you can just control. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But like me personally, man, this season more so than a in a while, I've thoroughly enjoyed. It's like my buddy Brad was telling me last night. I was over at his house before it started, and he was like, "Man, it almost felt like the last season or two. It was a chore. Like, ah, uh, man, I can't. I gotta watch The Walking Dead." Whereas now you're like, "Nah, dude, I can't miss The Walking Dead." It's true. You know, it almost makes you wonder if it's a better show without Rick. Like. Did Rick have to die? Slow, to, <laughs> slow your ass down. He's only been gone like one or two episodes. Yeah, but even still, you know. May, Calm maybe your tits, it was, man. Uh, what the hell? Maybe it was a necessary evil, you Whoa. know. Whoa. Maybe he had to die for to. No, you could know. be right. You could I be know. right. I don't know, mate. You 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 could be right. Um, maybe. maybe Rick going is about fresh. I mean, it's not that he hurt the show. But maybe it's just the shakeup it needed to kind of break it down to the foundation and rebuild it back up. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. That's blasphemy. How, I, it's how hard. It's, dare you, It's you a bastard. hard pill to swallow, I know. Yeah, I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. But I guess that's going to wrap it up for this discussion. If there's something we left out or something more you want to discuss, let us know in the comments. I'm sure we'll have something else. We'll have a mail call again on Thursday, as we always do. Um, we do ask if you well, this, can... This Thursday's Thanksgiving. Oh, that's we, right. Yeah. No, we will not. We'll do it on... You want to do it on Friday? Well, we'll kind of wrap the out. wrap the week yeah, up with it. I don't see why not. Yeah, we could do it Friday, if not Friday, Wednesday, but most likely Friday. But to get your question, it makes it easier if you go to our last mail call video and leave your questions there, because then we can just pull them all from one place. I mean, if you leave them other places, other, like at the bottom of this video, we'll definitely try to get to it, but it's harder to find amongst all the other comments. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our best. Mm-hmm. That's all we can do. Damn right you will. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving you a hard time. How is your uh, sage expert Skippy? Have you talked to him at all? I know sometimes he spoils the show for you, being you hadn't seen the episode from last night to today. Did he text you anything and spoil it? Well, he is convinced that there uh, there are whispers. Now he didn't quite hear the uh, the whispers at the end of the last episode, and I was like, Skippy, are you serious? He's like, No, that was you know the uh, Rosita and uh, Eugene were kind of muttering to each other a little bit. Well, no zombies talking. I was like. No, Skippy, that's, 
That was kind of the whole point of it. And, and mm. but he did text me last night, and he's like, "Yeah, I did hear they were saying, uh, they were saying, you know, they got away or something." I was like, "Yeah, we heard a little bit more whisperer talk in yeah. this episode. I like the way they're doing that too, man. It's creepy as hell. You put oh, yourself is, yeah. in their position to 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 have you know six. I mean, gosh, what are they now like?" Eight years into the apocalypse, mm-hmm. something like that, and all you've ever dealt with are slow, dumb walkers, and now you start hearing the. And on top of that, too, the whisperers do it creepy as shit, too. Yeah. They're not just like, "Where are they? They got away. Don't let them get away." I mean, they 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 sound and they're doing it in very smart. They sound like moans, right. you know. Where so it's. I imagine that would be. For, I mean, poor Eugene in the scenes from next week's episode looks absolutely. You know, he's just like, dude, this isn't. No, yeah. This isn't what we're you you know. So it, it looks it's really going to be good, man. I'm really excited. Well, we'll see what uh, what next week brings. Should be. You a, sound so excited. I'm a, like I said, I'm I'm, just, I'm trying to get the gravy off the brain. But speaking of gravy, I had some Cracker Barrel this weekend. Oh, you Cracker you Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> I always feel like I need my straw hat when I go in there. But man, the food was so good. Mm, it is good. I got that country boy breakfast, which yes, is like sir. a steak and eggs and. So when you said gravy, it just made me think like, man, I wish I had one of those breakfasts oh, yeah, in front of me. At a Cracker Barrel. But yeah, we will see you here in the next few days uh, for more Walking Dead discussion. Hopefully we're going to get another Michonne. I did. For, it, it's just like week after week, there's something in there. It's like Always. I was gone one week and then, what was it? You were gone one week and then. Yeah, I was sick one week. You were sick. No, you right. were gone out for your birthday one week. Then oh, you were right. sick That's one right. week and then I was out, out of town one weekend. And then now you got Thanksgiving. Always something. Need the world to slow down a little bit and let us focus on The Walking Dead. You tell him. But, uh, you know, make sure to leave a comment. Also, again, as I said, if you made it this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button. You can press the little bell beside it. It'll send you a notification whenever we upload something. Go like our Facebook. We want to start doing more Facebook stuff like giveaways and, you know. That's exciting. Uh, as just sharing in the uh, little Walking Dead community that we have here. And, uh, you know, if we grow that Facebook, we can do a lot of fun stuff. So, Make sure you go like that. One idea we toyed with, if we got the Facebook big enough, we were thinking about maybe like doing Facebook Live while we record this. So like we will be recording it as we have done now, but you'll also hear us if you are up at that hour. You know, you could go log on to our Facebook. We would tell you the time that we were going to start, you know, probably the night before. Then you could actually listen to it live. Hmm. Maybe even could read some comments, all that stuff. So. Yeah. If we get our Facebook likes up, we'll start doing stuff like that. So go over and give it a like. There you go. Tell them, JP. Be more stern, yeah, man. They, they can, if you want to do it, do it. If not, eh, you know, we'll understand. It just depends on his mood. Some days JP tries to be so stern and steadfast, and today he's just like, mm, I don't care. Yeah, I'm just kind of going with the flow, baby. That's all. Mm. But yeah, so you know, you like Facebook, like Facebook, you don't like Facebook, uh, you know, <laughs> see us on Photo Bucket, I don't know. <laughs> photo Bucket, does anybody use that anymore? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're on You there. still use it, right? Of course. I'm sure you still have an account. It's only social media I, uh, I put up with. Is it still JPZ04? Uh, something like that. What was it, 06? JPZ06, that's what it was. Mm. I remember mm. that. That's back when you were into rap ah. and you wore the big baggy clothes. Why are you, what's happening? What? What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Are you like posing? I mean, like, what is that? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just enjoying my morning. <laughs> it sounds like it. Maybe a little bit too much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we will see you again here in a few days for the podcasting, Dad. I'm Justin. And I'm JP. And yeah, make another noise. Huh? That's not the same. <laughs>